video too. I didn't no, know. No, barely. <laughs> it's not really getting you. Hold on, let me move it. Okay. All right. <laughs> hey, KT fam. I'm um, back with another video. I'm um, back with another vlog. And um, so today I look like a little boy because I'm wearing a hat. <laughs> um, no, I told you guys my hair was braided in the last video. So I had on that wig, but I didn't feel like putting the wig on. And also, I don't really like just having my braids because like I don't like my big forehead. So therefore, I just threw on this hat, and I'm just gonna be a stunt for the day. Oh, do they know um, you used to be a stunt? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let me ask them. Do you guys does KT does KT fam know that I used to be a stunt? Like dressed like a boy, like all the time. Like I was just a stunt. Like when I first met her, almost four years ago. Yeah. Well, actually, I was still a stud like three years ago. You were? Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Did you guys know that? I don't know. But anyway, I used to wear a hat all the time because I was super insecure about, like, my forehead and stuff. Like, now, you know, I don't wear a hat all the time only because I have braids right now. But, anyway, yeah. So, what was the point I was getting to? Oh, so... If they want to see a, your pictures, your own pictures, uh, you can do a reaction. Uh, yeah, I can. <laughs> I, was, I was not even just a stud. I was a ghetto stud. They're going to talk so much shit because they already said I talk ghetto and whatever so yeah <laughs> that would be a funny video <laughs> it would be funny they'd be like i knew she was ghetto but yeah so um yeah currently we're going to best buy because um well by the time you see this video the other video video will already be uploaded but it's the cooking video with me playing playstation 4 and i finally figured out how to i made the wrong turn i finally figured out how to um record on my playstation like while i'm playing like screen record but i didn't know i needed a usb to um yeah like put in my computer and everything so i'm on my way to get that and also i'm gonna pick up a headset for my playstation because i'm getting into that online world and the kids are really who's teaching me how to play because i really don't know what i'm doing who are the kids um <laughs> <laughs> Eliante's little brothers and nephew so her nephew is gonna teach me how to play Apex because he's like obsessed with that and I don't I've never played it even right now I still haven't played it but um and then what I really want to learn is GTA online because I've played GTA like story mode but not online so I'm gonna try to get the money and buy a house and buy whatever so last video I showed my um my username or whatever and it's like WTF underscore hello underscore if you want to like add me and play with me but I don't know how I got that name or why and if I can change it I will or I just really don't care that much so yeah now um, I'm pulling up to Best Buy and they have this thing right cuz we're like quarantining and um, well I say quarantine but we are quarantining I just say quarantining cuz a lot of people aren't but yeah so we're quarantining and so Best Buy you can't go in the store so I ordered it online and um, basically I'm just gonna pull up to Best Buy right here parking a designated parking spot or something like that which is over there apparently and then I'm gonna tell them on the app that I've arrived and tell them what car I'm in and they're gonna bring it to my car so yeah I'm gonna show you that but I gotta switch out with my girlfriend's phone because I need my phone to show them that I'm here so all right so we've got the contactless curbside pickup over here So I'm just gonna pull into spot number two. I usually back in, but I'm pulling in forward so you guys can see what it looks like. So anyway, now um, I'm on the app and I have to figure out how to curbside pickup instructions. No, let me click on the, the email that I got. Boom, boom how to check in at curbside boom, boom. okay so black Toyota Camry spot oh I put spit spot number two and then I'm gonna click I'm at the store right there you should have screen recorded it. <laughs> I should have screen recorded it, but mm. I'm not that smart sometimes. Okay, my order number. Last four digits. 
just pop the trunk or open a door or a window. Okay, I'm gonna open that window right there. <laughs> that one back there. Okay. Oh, they want you to open it? Oh, yeah, okay. it says, we'll drop your items in your car for you. Just pop the trunk or open a door or a window. Interesting. Right? They're like literally contactless. It says contactless pickup. Oh, it says we'll see in about five to ten minutes. Baby, I'm hungry. Boy, I know. I'm hungry too. We did not eat yet. Why did they go on See, the other he's side? there already. What's the last name, guys? Taylor. You're all set. Okay, Thank you. You too. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. <laughs> that was great. Let me that see. That was not five minutes. Yeah, that's what I got. So, so does that mean you can just touch it? I don't know. I was going to say, well, I wonder if they switched their gloves before they touch. Well, they're touching things. And yeah. It doesn't really stay on things. They're yeah. not touching people. Maybe I can touch it. I they? think I can. Oh touch yeah, it. they're not touching. They're not people. touching people. They're only touching items. Items. So they're, they're good. Yeah. So this is what I ordered: a little headset thing, nothing professional, and that's the SD card, so I can get the videos that I screen record on my PlayStation and upload them to my computer. So I'm excited. Now that's I can funny. go home and play online. Oh, nice. People so. you may know. Oh, that's funny. Maybe from context, cause yeah. your number, her number. Is in your book. All right. So, anyways, guys. Um. So for the rest of the day, right now we're probably gonna go home and eat and play Domino. So I might show you some of that. I might show you some of me playing PlayStation again. But most importantly, I'm gonna cook again. So I'm gonna show that to you guys. If you're interested, keep watching. So yeah, look forward to me, um, making the food and yeah, that's it. Keep watching. I look good. You look good. I look good. <laughs> like a boy. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys. Do I still love you? I never know. If I'm telling too much, then let me know. But if some shit was done in the dark, I gotta go. Do I still love you? I never know. If I'm telling too much, then let me know. Um, okay. I really kind of hate that I look like a boy today. But, um, forgive me. Um, actually what's funny is that when I like started dressing girly, everybody was um blaming it on my girlfriend, like she made me be girly and stuff like that, but I don't like the boy look at all anymore. Like it's not me. So yeah, I'm not feeling it, but I'm still making the video. I don't know why. I'm not feeling the wig. So this will be the last day with my hair and braids because I'm taking them out tomorrow. So you guys don't have to worry about it either. So now obviously I'm in the kitchen. I'm getting ready to um to make my French onion chicken. So, you know, in the last video I made the pork chops, which I didn't really know what I was doing. But in this video, um I'm making French onion chicken, which I do know what I'm doing, and I learned it from my stepmother who is Brazilian. I don't know if it's like a Brazilian meal or if it just like runs in her family. But that's where I got it from. So, all right. So out of four mayonnaise, I only found one that was good, which is crazy because there was two that, w that were unopened and then two that were open. And out of four jars, only one good jar. It's terrible. Hopefully, it will be enough. It looks like enough. So let's hope it is. The French onion in here. I'm making a lot of chicken, so that's why I'm just putting a lot of stuff. mix this before I add more. Alright, let's add more. So I know it sounds weird. Um mixing mayonnaise with French onion recipe mix. But it tastes good. So 
All right, so you mix it, you keep mixing it, and I think it needs a little bit more French onion because it's still looking a little bit light. So I'm just gonna add, keep adding a little bit more until I feel satisfied with it. Okay, I just put a little tiny bit of pan in my pan so it doesn't stick. So I got this huge pan because I told you I'm making a lot of chicken. And basically, so yeah, basically, um, after I wash the chicken, I'm going to cut it. They don't have to be small pieces, just like that. I'm just going to cut these in half. These are like little chicken tenders. This knife is good. And then from there, I'm just gonna throw like a few of them in there. Kind of mix them around. Get the French onion on top. And then when I pull it out, it's gonna look like that. Covered in French onion. And Okay guys, so um, I just finished the chicken. So I know it's a little bit of overkill, like that's a lot of chicken, but what can I say? Um, yeah, so the oven is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven right now. And we're just gonna throw it in like this. And I'm doing it sideways, like long way, because I have other things that I'm gonna make. So now I'm gonna get to the scallop potatoes so yeah it's pretty easy one and a half cups of boiling water three-fourths cup of milk and a tablespoon of butter but since i'm gonna make um more than one box um we're in quarantine so i'm just cooking for days but yeah because you're probably like why the hell should i cook three boxes and all that chicken but anyway um yeah i'm just gonna times it by three so one and a half cups of boiling water i'll do three and a half four cups so one two three no one and a half and one and a half is three, and one and a half is four and a half. So yeah, so like that. Anyway, um, like I said, I'll show it to you how it looks in the pan before I put it in the oven, okay? All right, so this is what it looks like with the boiled water, the milk, the butter, and the little potatoes from the box and the seasoning from the box, okay? So that's what it looks like. Now it's about to go in the oven and onto the broccoli. Okay guys, so basically for the broccoli, um, I just put it in, pan like this I get this minced garlic put it on top like this there's a lot of broccoli so I'm just gonna use this whole thing right here and then since there's a lot I'm just gonna mix it around with my hands so you have to mix it you're not just gonna leave it with clumps of garlic and other ones not having garlic. I already sprayed the pan with um, Pam. Okay. And then the next thing I'm gonna do for the broccoli. I mean, I don't really do much to the broccoli. This is the only two things. I'm just gonna put cheese on here. So I literally just put the minced garlic and cheese. And that's how I like my broccoli. And I, and I bake it in the oven too. I don't boil it. Or anything like that i don't i don't really like broccoli that doesn't have flavor so hence the fact that i put on minced garlic and cheese so that's it and then i'm gonna throw it into the oven and then i will update you guys as soon as everything is done